right, guys, we're back for another, another, and another Dokkan Battle video. So today, I want to take a look at the Space Traveling Warrior category uh, that has been introduced into the game alongside our boy Dokkan Fest Bojack. The more and more I use this Bojack, the more impressed I am. He is a phenomenal, amazing god tier unit. Very, very good. But one of the biggest things about Bojack is his category. And the power of his category is off the charts. I remember, you go back to my original video on Bojack. When I we first were looking at his details. And I was looking at it and I was like, Bojack seems okay. Seems like he's a worse version of Cooler. But a big thing that really is going to matter for this Bojack, this will really matter moving forward, is how good the Space Traveling Warrior category team is. Because Bojack gives a full 170% buff, right? To give, you know, to give context, Cooler is only giving 130% HP and then 170% attack and defense to his two categories, Terrifying Conquerors and Transformation Boost. Whereas Bojack, it's a full 170 to Space Traveling Warriors. And on top of that, 146 units, many of whom are units that you could consider in discussion for best unit in the game or one of the best units in the game, right? This team is ridiculous. And in a large portion of why it's so ridiculous is several units that have still yet to arrive on Global, such as LR Full Power Jiren, uh, LR Turles. Units like this are going to really allow this Space Traveling Warrior team to just literally be built different. Um, now, it's uber rare that you're going to have this, but if you have the TUR for LR Turles as well, I mean, offensively and defensively, He's going to function much better than just the AGL Dokkan Festeros right here. Who This guy's a little bit of a uh, better support, uh, well, at least offensively. Um, but he doesn't have any defense himself, and he doesn't give any defensive support. Whereas this Turles gives both defensive support, uh, and he also has defense himself, right? And then you just go through this category. I mean, Radices are on here. Like, Super Battle Road, it's going to be very difficult for this team to struggle in Super Battle Road. All the options you have. You have something like this hit. Now, let's just take a look at Extreme STR and Space Traveling Warriors. And you'll quickly understand that basically almost all of the best units for Extreme STR are on this team, right? Full Power, Frieza, First Form Frieza, Cooler, LR Turles, Bojack. A lot of the big stuff is right there, right? Like, if we get rid of the Space Traveling Warriors category, right, and just take a look at Extreme STR... Like, again, like, you know, Omega Shenron is one, like, SCR Rosé is good. But the actual best, like, Extreme SCR units are pretty much all on Space Traveling Warriors. So that is super, super impressive um, for this category team, right? Um, I also think this is going to have a very high future for this team, right? We'll definitely get, like, a Transforming Jiren. We'll definitely get, like, a Transforming Topo. Uh, I think the Ginyu Force is has a potential bright future. A Dokkan Fest Captain Ginyu, I think, would probably sell fairly well. Plus, the body switch animation would be very, very cool to see. Um, you know, like Ginyu switching a Goku and then animations as an LR or a Dokkan Fest exclusive would, would, I think, sell very well. Hit has, I think, a bright future as well in terms of an LR. I think an LR hit would be very good and would be very impactful for this team. Um, so, you know, and then Baby could get a Dokkan Fest. Uh, Great Ape Vegeta, of course, could get a Dokkan Fest. Slug could get a Dokkan Fest and an LR. You know, there's a number of characters on here that we could see big-time buffs to. And a lot of the Team Bardock members, like, there's all the Great Ape Team Bardock characters. They could all get easy A's and become more impressive. This team, overall, is just very, very good. And then GT, the first, like, the whole baby saga of GT, many of the characters on there could be added, right? We could potentially see, like, a... Super Saiyan 3 GT Kid Goku, another base form Kid Goku. This Trunks, like, doesn't even have a base form version, right? He's only got the Super Saiyan versions. Um, you know, a couple of the good pans are on the team as well. Like, we could definitely see some really good stuff moving forward. This LR, by the way, uh, Goku, Trunks, and Pan, finally gets another new category team. I mean, when they were introduced, Dragon Ball Seekers and Joint Forces were already a thing during the four-year anniversary. And this is the first new category they've gotten since they've been introduced almost two full years ago. Absolutely insane. So we're going to go ahead um, and test out this Space Traveling Warrior team. I have a particular build in mind for this team that just offensively and defensively is untouchable. It's it, it's like unmatchable. I, I don't know. This, to me, this might feel like 
one of the most overpowered teams. Like, like when you're running, you got LR Jiren and LR Turles running at full power, the team is going to be untouchable. And then Bojack, I mean, I, I don't know. I think I like Bojack's support ability better than Cooler's, right? So Bojack is only buffing Space Traveling Warriors for the support type passive, but depending upon how many enemies, he can buff it by higher numbers, right? I can't, I always have trouble clicking the passive. It's so difficult. But for Cooler, depending upon the amount of enemies, he buffs different categories, right? Now, I mean, going into an event, you'll know, like, okay, this event will only have one enemy the whole time and stuff like that. But that might be a bit of an advantage for Bojack. Um, let's go ahead and hop in. Let, let's take a look at how nasty uh, Space Traveling Warriors now is. All right, guys, so we are here in the event. Now, this is where this Space Traveling Warrior team is going to start to get dirty, is if, you know, we have LR Turles on rotation with his TR, so of course we're going to have six out of seven links. Let's take a look at LR Turles and his 270k defense right there. Seems pretty good, huh? Now, my TUR does not have full level 10 links, or else he would be looking a lot better as well. Honestly, I probably should work on my uh, TUR Turles, because, like, a run like this, like, you know, if there's any challenge runs or anything like that, you get these two together, LR Turles and TUR Turles, and it's just GG. Now, obviously, LR Turles, he'll do more damage with AGL Turles around, for sure, right? Because, um, obviously, AGL Turles is giving more key, he gives a bigger buff, but that TUR Turles is just so much stronger himself that, you know, th this was the build I wanted to do. I wanted to go ahead and run the TUR Turles. Plus, you know, I did spend, I don't know, several grand to get the TUR Turles rainbow, so I might as well use them, right? Um, okay, so this isn't great. Okay. So Bojack is himself is going to be fine, like, it, it, like it, on this rotation and stuff like that, right? But the problem is that Topo. Topo is not, this is not the rotation. Wow, he's actually, he's at over 200k defense, or nearly at it, which is really impressive. But that's all the support he's getting from the Bojacks. Topo, when he's on rotation with Jiren, I mean, okay, so, so that Topo slash Pride Troopers, I feel like not a lot of people know too much about this unit. So he lowers attack on super attack, which is good. That could activate Jiren's super effective in salt types. He gets 110% attack and defense, which is good. Then another 110% attack and defense if there are three or more Universe 11 category allies on the team, uh, which I guess he himself does count. So we have that activated. That's the thing with God Topo uh, and Full Power Jiren here. That is activated. And then here we go. LR Turles off to the races, right? With just a little bit of support, just a little teensy bit of help. LR Turles is rocking 300k defense and he is borderline untouchable, and he's going to be absolutely one-shotting everything. Now, next turn, our team, our rotations are finally in order, finally set, and it's just checkmate at this point, right? Now we have LR Jiren and Topo slash Pride Troopers on a rotation, and then LR Turles plus CUR Turles on a rotation, and we're now untouchable. It's, we won. We won. Like, okay, we'll, we'll take damage here, which is fine, but, I mean, again, because the Topo slash Pride Troopers, I didn't finish what he does, but they guard... If there's another Universe 11 category ally attacking in the same turn, and then they give Universe 11 category allies um, three key and 30% attack and defense. So, um, Jiren is going to be a dirty, nasty, filthy, monstrous boy. We're not going to have to worry about him. Then we have the Bojacks floating. So, we're going to have Bo uh, both Bojacks floating, right? The thing about both Bojacks floating is they're supporting the entire team. Units like LR Jiren, who again is one of the strongest units in the game, one of the best units in the game, a unit that requires no buildup and he's just absolutely dominant, and he's super effective against all types if the enemy has either their attack or their defense debuff, right? So any of that on there, and Jiren is just a buzzsaw, absolutely running trains on all of the enemies. Then as we continue to go further and further in this event too, the other thing that's going to happen um, is Bojack. Uh, or, excuse me, the other thing that's going to happen is we're going to be able to get the active skill for LR Turles, right? Now, LR Turles, it actually is quite difficult to get to the point where you can take advantage of it, especially after the link level update, which, you know, made it so that you can't, like, you know, double up on key links and stuff like that, right? But when LR Turles gets the full 24 key and he has the high chance of doing a double super attack and, you know, he's then super effective against all types and it's just like, like, uh, like when Turles... LR Turles has full 24 key. He, that's when he actually looks like he's the best unit in the game. Like LR Turles. It, it's not an exaggeration with how insanely overpowered he gets. Right? And then these Bojacks are floating, giving key attack and defense. Bojack himself, by the way, every single turn is above like a 200k uh, defensive stat. So here, we're going to go ahead and do this. 
Um, yeah, so the other thing, too, about God Topo, if you're going to run God Topo with LR Jiren, which I would, but God Topo defensively struggles, um, unless your HP is below 70%, then that damage reduction kicks in, and he's great, right? Look at Jiren's defense right there. Um, Jiren is going to have most of his links active. Oh, by the way, this is level 10. <laughs> my, my Jiren is level 10 links because I'm preparing for when he arrives on global. Um, and then remember, you know, Topo slash Pride Troopers, they guard, they lower attacks. You run them in slot one, you have them super attack, potentially lowering the enemy's attack or defense, and Jiren is super effective against all types. And then Jiren, you know, starts doing bullshit like this right here, where he's just like, okay, have this 6.87 million attack stat, super effective against all types. It's very difficult, though, to, to say, like, who is better. Is it Jiren or is it um, Turles? Like, they actually, like, you see them, they look so similar. But once Turles, okay, so next turn with Turles, we're going to be able to activate his active skill. And then it's it, it's done. Turles with his active skill. What, what's Be Bojack's defense? Yeah, so Bojack's defense here, 219k. Remember, he gets 30% defense on super attack. So Bojack, like, is, like, virtually untouchable. Turles is taking double-digit damage from super attacks. Look at this team. Like, look. Dude, look at this team. Now, if you're on global, like, I would like to run this team. It's going to be a little bit tough, right? Because there's two summonable LRs you need to get, plus Dokkan Fest Bojack. All not yet. Like, actually, who on this team is even out on global? No one. This entire team is actually not out on global yet. Because God Topo is on global, but not as easy yet. So I'm literally, this entire team is actually not yet out on global, right? So, like, obviously it's, you know, a, a tall order to, like, you know, have to get every single unit we've got right here. Yeah, because LR Turles isn't out. Jiren and Topo come together, right? God Topo gets his easy along with it. And then, of course, Bojack. So, yeah. Um... This is good, though. Uh, the other thing, too, is we have not activated Jiren's active skill yet. So in order to get Jiren's active skill, he has to get hit, I believe, five times. But, I mean, look at this. We're almost all the way through this event already. And, again, Jiren is barely getting touched. This is what happens with some of these teams with LR Jiren, uh, Turles, and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on them, if you're setting them up properly, is you will blow through the event so fast that you don't even really get an opportunity um, to use their active skills. Like, you know, Jiren, Gogeta, like, it's just, it, it's too devastating. Like, you're through the event in no time. Um, is that enough for Jiren to get his active skill? I think he needs to get, be hit one more time, is it? Because I definitely, I don't want to finish this off. Um, I want both, uh, Turles and Jiren to use their active skills, um, in this run right here. Now, Turles... I I don't know. When you use the Fruit of the Tree of Might right here and Turles, he gets full 24 key, right? So now, again, this is where it, it's just like, like it, it, it's it's GG. Um, I, like, I, I, I don't know what to say. Like, we're going to see Turles here uh, get a Dokkan attack, right? Or, no, excuse me. He's not going to get a Dokkan attack. But Turles is going to be super effective against all types. Full 24 key. Six out of his seven links are active, and then he has a 50% chance to do a double super attack. Like, this turn, this is where LR Turles, again, looks like he's the best unit in the game. Because he's going to do, like, an 8 million attack stat that is super effective against all types. So, it's actually, like, a 15 million attack stat or something like that, right? And then, he has a high chance to super attack again. So, again, like, honestly, side by side on this team, Turles looks better than Jiren to me. Because remember, Turles is a support type unit as well. So, <laughs> now, I mean, uh, some of the reason Turles is looking better is I do have his TUR next to him, but still, it's just like, man, uh, is Turles better than Jiren? Uh, this is really making me, like, think that Turles is better than Jiren, for real. Like, hmm, it's just like, if you're in Super Battle Road, I guess, like, if you're in Realm of Gods Extreme Super Battle Road, which I probably... I'll do a video with Jiren against that probably when he comes out on Global. And, like, you know, turn one, I think Jiren could easily take all the attacks he needs to activate his active skill, right? And then at that point, he has the active skill, um, you know, and when, he, when Jiren gets his active skill, it's GG. Like, every enemy is stunned, every enemy gets a major attack and defensive debuff, 
Jiren gets a huge, uh, like, boost in attack and defense. Like, it's just, it, it's, he rains death on that rotation, right? It's a super battle road dream. Yeah, he gets 30% attack and defense. All enemies lose 30% attack and defense. Um, and he guaranteed stuns them as well for the turn, right? So busted. Like, that seriously is, like, one of the strongest, like, abilities in the game for Super Battle Road. Because, like, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, um, he gives himself a little bit more attack and defense and debuffs the enemy a little bit more, but he doesn't have that guaranteed stun that Jiren does. Uh, and Gogeta only has to get hit four times to activate his, whereas um, Go uh, Jiren, uh, Gogeta has to get hit four times, Jiren has to get hit five times in order to activate um, the active skill. Now, Bojack, by the way, has not been putting up the craziest damage numbers, but I don't really think that matters too much. Honestly, his, his damage... Bojack's damage in this run, I would argue, has been fairly unimpressive. Like, it's not actually that good. Um, but... I don't know that that really matters that much when he is untouchable because his defense is like 250k plus after he supers. And then he's also giving this ridiculous massive support type buff to the entire rotation, right? So it's like, I don't know that Bojack really needs to be damage god when you have Jiren and Turles doing all the heavy lifting for you anyway. All right, so this, this is like, this is a sneak peek for global players. The only links we don't have active here, Infighter, which is, I think, 15% attack. Yeah. And then also, Legendary Power. By the way, Infighter, if you activate the Infighter link, that will give you Jiren super effective against all types, by the way. So, like, LR Jiren plus TUR Jiren to get, like, the, the non-full power Jiren together will make LR Jiren uh, super effective against all types as long as the enemy can have their attack or defense lower. So, that's... That's a powerful effect of the Link level update. Because when Jiren first came out, he came out before the Link level update. It was only a couple of days. But, like, that's a new thing about that. That that Infighter... That Infighter Link is now an attack buff and lowering enemy defense. This is, like, one of the only units in the game, full power Jiren, who, like, having that enemy defense debuff on one of these Links actually helps. <laughs> Most, like, like, of these Links and these units that... Oh, you know, telekinesis and stuff like that. Lowered enemy defense. Like, who cares? Doesn't really matter too much. Again, Tobo guard, so nothing really to worry about with him. Uh, let's see what Jiren's attack set is going to be. <coughs> it's probably going to be well over, like, a 10 million attacks. Like, you know, he gets... He has... This is, like, a perfect rotation for Jiren, practically. Let's see what he gets. 8.93, and he's super effective against all types. Remember that. So... That's what I'm saying. Like, the rotation of Jiren doing this, and then on the other rotation, you have Turles doing what he does. And, you know, you can pop those Fruit of the Tree to uh, Mites if your health is low, or if it's past turn 8. The Space Traveling Warrior team, I mean, this is just one build, right? You know, you can run SCR hit. You know, there's so many different rotations you have that you can run with this team to really make it look super impressive and just be very, very good overall. So let me know what you guys think of the Space Traveling Warrior team. I certainly think it is highly impressive. Bojack is very good. I cannot wait to see what this category is going to look like in the future. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.